So your body is coated with bacteria inside and out. You're basically a walking microbial habitat. And we found that you know, the diversity of bacteria just on the skin surfaces is really pretty incredible. You, know, you harbor hundreds of different bacterial species just on your palm, for example. We've also found that everybody is pretty unique. So of those, let's say, 100 or so bacterial species, very few of them are shared between individuals. So you have a very sort of specific bacterial community on your, on your hands. So we designed the study as essentially a proof of concept to see if we could take advantage of that phenomenon for forensic identification to see if we could match an object to an individual that had touched that object by just looking at the types of bacteria left on the object. And we were surprised to find that it actually worked and, and worked fairly well. The work involved a series of three different studies. One was to show that we could match the bacteria left on individual keys of a keyboard to the fingers of the owner of that keyboard. And then we showed that the bacteria stay on these surfaces for a fairly long period of time. Um, they can last for up to two weeks under sort of standard room conditions. So we leave this trail of bacteria as we go about our daily lives, and that trail doesn't disappear immediately. It, it stays for, for an extended period of time. And well, there's still a lot of work we need to do to, to assess the validity of the technique and how well we can um, recover bacteria from surfaces and how well we can match objects to the person, to the individual who touched that object. And this will require quite a bit of work. In particular, we need to see how well bacteria persist on a variety of different surfaces, whether we're talking about fabrics versus plastic versus metal surfaces, um, and what the accuracy is. Uh, we also need to assess how well the technique, if it'll work at all, um, with objects that are touched by multiple individuals. Because um, then you end up with this mixture of bacteria that may be left on the surface. But it's sort of proof of concept that it, that it is possible to use bacteria for forensic identification, which is pretty neat.